Changing chart layout involves adding, removing, and modifying individual chart elements like the title and the data series. In this lesson, we'll change the grid lines, change the access titles, and change access labels, and also change the chart title. Here's your chart we're working on for Quest Specialty Travel. We want to make some layout changes to the chart to make sure it's easy to interpret and to improve its general appearance. When we're finished, we'll add some formatting changes to the grid lines, and those are the lines that actually extend across the plot area. We'll make it easier to distinguish the values for each one of the lines. We'll also add some access titles, modify the access labels, and make some changes to the chart title. That's a lot to do, so let's get started. First thing we're going to do is make sure our chart is still selected. We know it's selected because we have our handles at the, at, uh, around the edges. I'll click the Chart Tools Layout tab. Once I've done that, these tabs make it easier to create and modify individual chart objects like labels, axes, and the background. In the Axes group, I'll click on Grid Lines. When I click the Grid Line options, I'm actually going to point to the primary horizontal grid lines, and then I'll click None. So I do not display the grid lines and the grid lines are removed from the chart. Notice the tick marks remain here on the horizontal and the vertical axes. It's just that the horizontal and the vertical, it's just that the extending lines are removed. Now what I want to do, I'm going to click on the grid lines button again. I'm going to point to the horizontal grid lines. Then I'll click major and minor grid lines. Now our major grid lines are back, the ones that extend from the tick marks, and we've also got minor grid lines which show the values between the tick marks. In the labels group here, I'm actually going to click on the axis title. So I click on the axis title, I'll point to the primary horizontal axis title, I'll click the title below axis, and now I'm going to triple click the placeholder title to select the whole thing and now I'll type tour countries. Practicing that triple click can, can really help you when you're selecting data. So now that I've done that I want to actually click the access title button again I'll point the primary vertical access title, then I'll click rotated title. This creates another placeholder that's rotated so it takes up less space. I'm going to triple click and notice I need to practice more and I'm going to type expenses parentheses in dollars. Make sure I spell everything correctly and when I click off of it my title sticks. I'll right click the horizontal axis label. A mini toolbar is displayed and I'm going to click the font list I'm going to scroll down till I see Times New Roman. I'm going to choose Times New Roman from the font list and then I'm also going to click the font list for the font size and I'm going to change it to size 8. Once I've done that I can click off of that the mini toolbar disappears. I'm going to right click on the vertical access labels. I'm going to change that font to Times New Roman and notice it's at the very top because it was recently used. I'm also going to right click and change the font size to 8 as well. And our labels actually match both at font Times New Roman size 8. And on the vertical axis is more room to display the values so we can see every thousand dollar point instead of 
every $2,000 point. So that's really important. You want to make sure that you're working with that to make it fit. Now I'm going to right click the chart title. The chart title is up here, quarterly tour expenses. So I'm going to right click on that and the shortcut menu presents options geared to the currently selected item. This is the case anytime that we're actually going to right click. In this case it gives us options related to the chart title. I'm going to choose the option format chart title and the format chart title dialog box opens. In the left pane here I'm going to click on border color then in the right pane I'll click the solid line option. When I click on that option I'm going to make some, I'm going to make some choices here. Um, I'm actually going to click the shadow option here and now what I want to do I'll click the presets left arrow in the outer group which is here sorry that the preset list arrow I apologize I'll click the first choice which is right here offset diagonal bottom right I'm going to click on close and there's my drop shadow. So you, it's hard to see, but here's my drop shadow right here on my title. Then I'm going to save my work. And you can check out your textbook to try these steps yourself and also get some additional tips. You can also learn how to add data labels to a chart in order to identify these actual individual data marks that you see so it makes it easier for your audience to read.